developing. I know we talked back in the spring um, about him trying to get that communication aspect down, become a more of a vocal guy. That's still a work in progress for him. It always is. I mean, you know, with offenses the way they are, um, you know, those guys obviously have to give us our calls, have to get people lined up. At the same time, we got to be a vocal uh, defense, not just one guy out there shouting stuff. And obviously, from my unit, the, the calls and things start with those mics. Um, but as a defense, we got to be chirping stuff and echoing back and forth and communicating. And each guy has a job. Hey, who's calling out down a distance? Who's calling out backfield set? Who's alerting us to certain things? So the way offenses are with their shifts and motions and so much stuff, we all got to be vocal and all got to understand. But it's him specifically, I think he's he's embraced that role and he's doing a, doing a good job. And every day creates new challenges. Obviously, Coach Cheney is one of the best offensive coordinators there is. So. They're going to create challenges, and those guys have to kind of rise to it, take a deep breath, and be able to communicate under pressure. Yeah, I know Matt told us um, back in April or whatever it was, he wasn't always the most vocal guy, you know, especially at the beginning when he was first getting started. But so is that something that, that you sort of work with? Because I know you're a pretty vocal guy. Everybody could see that. Is that sort of a good mix for you two to work together on that? You know, it, it's, it's, it may not be natural, but it's something that, uh, you know, we don't, we don't have to ask him to be overly crazy or hyper, but he's got to understand that communication doesn't have to be you know, false or fake, it has to be real and it's a job that needs to be done. So if he doesn't want to be overly boisterous about it, that's fine. But he's embraced the fact that he does have to lead with his calls and get the people lined up structurally and fundamentally. And he's embraced that role at least. And I think we've gotten to come out of his shell just a little bit. So we'll see. I'll, see, I'll keep working on it. Does it help too, I guess, having, uh, you know, two guys stepping into starting roles alongside him, but they're not young guys when they're old guys in, in Bam and in Grigsby. That's something else too that's kind of unique and is, is good for the whole unit, I guess. I think it's good. Those guys are those guys are experienced football players. You know, whether whether Freeze and, has played a bunch on first and second down, he's been out there on the field on third downs. He's a fifth year player. He's been he's an experienced football player. He's played a lot of football on different aspects on this in this program. And uh, obviously Bam has played a ton. Um, they've all they've all played a great amount of football here is, when you really look at the whole entire unit. So that's always going to help you. Snaps always help you. Experienced people, whether it's being a starter or not, experienced football players are going to pay dividends down the road. Some of the walkthroughs we got to see today uh, in there inside were uh, KK and, and Tyreek Jarrett. I guess that's a pretty big set of uh, tackles for a group of linebackers to play behind. Huh? Well, when you've got, that's where it starts. I mean, at the end of the day, when you've got those type of players in there, some, some difference makers, those guys are difference makers if they want to be. If they want to be, just like everyone on this defense. If you want to be a player, you can go get it every play, every snap. You know, and uh, we're working for three and outs. That's what we're working for. So if you can go three hard plays, you know, we can get it done. And I think for my guys to have two, really three big time dudes in there, yeah, when Darryl's you know, it makes it, it makes our job a ton easier when those offensive linemen have to handle those guys first and we can just run free and run and hit. What's your thoughts on I think, they, I think they're doing okay. You know, right now we, we've, we've thrown a lot at them. That's what you do in camp. We throw a lot in, and they've got to handle the pressure and, and, and be able to uh, digest it all and then make all the checks and all that. And we're not going to give them a crutch and say, hey, we're going to go easy on you today. We're going to throw it all, and then we're going to throw more on top of it. And you know, there'll be a time to dial back. But right now we got to get our defense in and have these guys get at least acclimated to some of these calls and get at least one call in a, a practice. So they're doing okay. They're doing okay. You know, uh, this is the first day of pads, so pretty good thud. That's what you're always worried about, right? They haven't really thudded up and tackled up on, on guys for a while, but uh, they accepted the challenge today and every day. That's the, that's the goal. These guys are accepting the challenge of learning more and getting in and watching film, so I've been pleased. If you had a couple words to describe, how would you say athletic, fast, knowledgeable? How would you describe it? I think that as a group, knowledgeable is a great word, and I think athletics is a great word. I think we have a chance to be a pretty athletic group just across the board. Uh, I think we can get to the football. I think our guys can change direction well. And from a knowledge standpoint, you know, these guys have seen a lot of things. You know, different packages they've run with different coaches. They've seen and been exposed to a lot, which makes them knowledgeable. Now we just have to get them to be very, very honed in and master our, our set of skills. In the spring, you know, um, Bam was, was with the twos a lot, and Mike was with the, with the ones. Uh, now Bam seems to be with the ones. What, what is Bam doing now? Did he, you make him hungrier by, by maybe maybe put him on a second team in the spring? Well, he finished up the spring pretty strong. You know, we uh, he he, he kind of answered that bell a little bit at the end of spring to kind of get up there with the ones again, mm -hmm. and then he's going to have to answer it to stay there. Mm -hmm. And and Caprera is going to have to answer the the call and try to beat him out. And uh, that goes for every position. I just told 
uh, Quentin Ward Jennis the other day. I mean, I don't care if you're a redshirt freshman, soft, true sophomore, go beat Galambos out. I want those freshmen to beat everybody out. It doesn't matter. I want everybody to try to beat each other out because then it makes our depth so much better if we got guys hungry to try to go start. You know, we're all friends in that room at the same time. We all got jobs to do, and that's to be on the field, and we got to make plays. Uh, Bam and Grigsby, of course, are, are brothers. Uh, how do they interact with each other in your group? In your group? Yeah, they, it, it's good. You know, we have, we have a great chemistry in our room. Those guys are hungry and they're tough. Um, it's a good chemistry. Those guys. Those guys are, I think, this will, they've never really played together here on the mm -hmm. same field. They've always kind of been in different, not in base anyway, or started together. So uh, it's fun, I think, for them. At the same time, they're there because they are producing. Mm -hmm. And that, that's critical, critical to understand. That's we go over in our every room. We've got a production. We've got everybody's got points associated with themselves. If you're producing, you're going to be on the field. Speed is a big thing in this defense, isn't it? I mean, getting to the ball. Speed in 2015, it's a big deal in general because of offenses because of offense. The ball is on the perimeter. They're asking us to make plays in space. They're asking us to see how fast we can go from here to there and go make a tackle before they gain a bunch of yards. So speed in 2015 is all it's about. And, it, and it's got to be, and I think we've got, we put ourselves in a position to, to, to have some good players to be able to get it done. Coach, I know you got a meeting. Do we have anything final? Freeze is almost a have sprinter speed there, right? Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he can move. Mm -hmm. He can move. And uh, our goal is obviously just to get him looking at the same, at what he needs to be looking at. So when it's ready to pull the trigger, it's halfway already pulled, and he just has to squeeze it and go. But he's a, he's a heck of an athlete. Thanks, Rob. Yep. All right, All right guys.